Hi, today I make a scan of this uh, airport. It's a very small object. Stem diameter here is only 5.7 millimeters. It has some uh, reflective uh, metallic here on the tip here. And I will scan it with the Clearity Scan Laptop. In the uh, specification, it says that it can scan the object, smallest one, up to uh, one by one by one centimeters. So let's see if it can scan this small airport. First, I make a small clay here and put in the center of the turntable. And as you can see here, this is a, a turntable for uh, a painter, airbrush painter. Cost around three dollars. I uh, attached some uh, reflective stickers on it. So the for laptop, I found that it is best to place this uh, small object uh, parallel to the plate like this. And uh, I will scan uh, this uh, four times. So I will just uh, flip it like every ninety degrees. Every ninety degrees is one scan. So uh, first, I have already tried uh, this uh, vertical position. It, it doesn't scan very good because the the angle. Uh, it's the best to place the in the horizontal position like this. So I need to scan uh, four sides on all four sides, and then I will merge it in the creative scan. Okay, let's uh, start the process here. I set the res resolution to 0 0.15, and then I click on scan. When I move uh, the laser to the scanner to the optimal distance, the blue laser line is about 20 centimeters wide, 10 centimeters. It's about 10 by 20 centimeters. So if I move it to good distance, it will be wider, no, just a little bit wider, 22, 10.5. So optimal and good is about the same detection area. Uh, it can see a lot of markers up to this point here and up to this point, yeah. So it can uh, see uh, the, the markers wider than the detection area maybe you can uh, spread a longer distance and it still can detect it larger area with the marker than the objects okay uh, let's start the scan second one i will move it uh, 90 degrees like this The third position. The last one, last scan. Actually, I like a uh, laptop for scanning difficult objects because uh, you just place it on the turntable with the markers and it will just track. No matter what you do, just track. So I will crop and uh, map the point clouds here. I found that 0 0.05 is too much and it doesn't give any additional details. So uh, best setting here is 0 0.1 for me, right? Here's some, uh, uh, this is what I found. Uh, we're gonna merge uh, four, uh, four scans together. So uh, you can see the faint, uh, thin uh, point cloud here. You need to cut it out. It's low in quality. So we just cut it out. We just keep the one that's dense. And give a more, it's more accurate. So here we just cut it like this, just cut out the uh, low density point clouds because uh, the next scan we have a dense one and it's more accurate. I wish that the software can, can remove the less dense point cloud by itself. Okay, I pick a one and two first because it uh, has more thing in common. Click on the point cloud merging. I do it manually one and two right okay so it has the um something in common i pick center here and here and then i should be um i think it's here and here that would be two here and uh here See if it can make it. All right. Yeah, it's not blending. I click yes. Okay, so we have our first pair merge. This one and five, five. Okay, I go with one and five first. Component one and component uh, scan five. You need to pick a pair, two, and then the three. No, it doesn't even match. 
Let's see. Oh. It's match. Okay. Looks alright. Okay, it's uh actually I didn't even click on the uh point clowns. But it uh lock in place very well. Yeah, very smooth. Okay, last pair. Manual. Open in two and scan number three. Uh, here at the hole. One. One. Right now. Two. Okay. Alright. Let's look okay. Click yes. Back here. Ah, oh, we still have uh, some uh, holes here. Uh, mm hmm. If it can, uh, I make like uh, a three million faces because I will export to uh, Blender. Here we have it. It look very nice, I think. Uh, let's see the process one in Blender. Here's a result in Blender. I also make this cutout for test fitting. Here's a imprint that uh, print out from the printer. I printed with the uh, PRAACF filament, and here's the airport that we just scanned. It uh, fits perfectly, so there's no movement. So you can actually make a mold from the scanner without any uh, CAD uh, work, just a few minutes in uh, sculpting. Thanks for watching.